Bailey has only been producing motorhomes for two years, but as you can see, they're really popular. They produced more than a thousand models in that time. For the 2014 season, Bailey has overhauled its lineup. There's now a five strong approach autograph range and an all new two model approach compact range. That's what we're going to have a look at here today. It takes its public bow here at the Motorhome and Caravan Show in October, and we're going to look at the 540 model. So the compact is a shade under six meters long. It's also narrower than the previous approach models. It's got an external width of 2.35 meters and an internal width of 2.19 meters. Nevertheless, it still feels quite spacious and compact once we step inside. It's based on the Peugeot Boxer chassis cab and powered by the 2.2 litre 130 brake model. That's more than enough muscle for a motorhome of this size. We really like the black cab styling. We like the moulded low line section and also is that opening sunroof. At the rear, the wall is radius to the roof. It's a great looking young motorhome. The compact 540 features an end washroom and a half dinette style front lounge with a side sofa. But we're going to step outside to show you a very special innovation. We're going to use this pod to show you that the 540 also features a very clever drop-down bed. It has a payload of 200 kilos, which should, should suit most couples. And as you can see, it has safety nets at either end of the bed. Underneath that mattress, you have the luxury Froley spring system, so it's extremely comfortable and air is able to circulate. It's not a new feature for motor caravanning. Manufacturers such as Shoson and Bursner have been producing drop-down beds for five years, but it is new to the British market. Bailey is the first to market with this system, and we applaud that. The benefits of a drop-down bed is that you create loads of space inside the van. I'm seated here in the half dinette lounge. There's a forward-facing sofa which has two belted seats and the two cab seats up front. It has three sleeping berths, the double bed which drops down from the ceiling, and you can also make up a single berth across the width of the van underneath it. Moving back in the van, there is the compact kitchen area. It's split either side of the galley and it's perfectly workable. And at the very rear of the van, you have a full width and washroom. I really like this layout. To sum up, in a market where there is a trend for downsizing to reduce running costs, the 540 Compact has a lot going for it. But it also has some premium equipment features, such as Audi's wet central heating system and twin cab airbags up front. It's keenly priced, it has great looks, it has premium equipment, it's got an awful lot going for it.